Hey everyone, welcome to Zero Code Club. In this video, we're going to see how to create an online directory website. Now, what is an online directory website? A few popular examples are job boards. A job board is a list of available jobs which you can filter by various parameters like uh, type of job, location of job, and so on. Now, Craigslist is a directory of businesses where you can filter businesses by location, business type, and so on. Zomato, which is a popular Indian company, when they started out, they started out as a directory of restaurants. So likewise, you can have directory of various types of lists. When I was building Product Ivy this morning, I was adding a new section called Discover, so which is which is meant to allow product management enthusiasts discover the best of Twitter threads. So when you come here, they can find the list of popular Twitter threads, you know, categorized by author and topic. They can also find the discover the best product management books. Uh, which they can categorize by various sections in the product lifecycle. Now uh, they can also filter uh, and search for a specific book. Similarly, I recently added a list of no-code tools. So it's a directory of no-code tools where you can find a no-code tool based on functionality. Or if you know what you want to build, you can directly filter the specific no-code tools. So before we get into actually building it, let's, uh, let's look at something to inspire us. So you know, Sam Zicky, who is a product manager like us, so he built a side hustle, which was a directory of no-code tools. He sold that business back in 2018. And more recently, you have Sujit here, who used software to build an application called Lister. Now, Twitter has a functionality called lists, which is very difficult to find. So Sujit found a business opportunity here. He found a problem area. So he curated the lists and made it available as a directory where anybody can find the list they're interested in. So he built a product in September, launched it in Product Hunt the same month, and he was acquired in November. So that's the power of no codes. Now with that out of the way, let's look at how to build a directory website using no code tools. So essentially, when you want to build any application, you have three things that you need to worry about. One is the UI. How do you present the data to the user in the front end? And next is the database, which is the back end where you store the list of information. And then you also need to figure out a way in which the front end can interface with the back end, possibly through an API. So the tools that we're going to use today are software and Airtable. Now, how did I come up with these two tools? I used the application that I built. So I went to no code tools and because I know what I want to build today, which is a directory, I clicked that and it is filtering only relevant applications that are relevant for directory. And it's also showing me which applications are recommended. The reason it's recommending software and ad table is because Glide, while it has web application, that is relatively new and mobile application is their forte. Webflow is quite complex for someone to start new. Bubble also has a steep learning curve. Trap code is new kid in the market. So, so that's where we recommend software and Airtable. You might also want to add analytics and Hotjar so that you can observe how users are interacting with the site. But for the purposes of this demo, we're going to focus only on the front end and the back end, which is software and Airtable. Now, please be warned that this is a demo that is meant to excite you and introduce you into the world of no code. So I will be quickly creating this application in the next few minutes. It may not be a detailed step by step tutorial. With that out of the way, let's quickly jump into creating the application. So. Software is free for anybody to create. I will have a link in the description so that you can create your own software account. And here you can create a new application. And when you click new, there is a bunch of templates that you can easily use to get up and running. For example, they have an employee directory and they have a directory for tracking applicants and so on. In our case, you know, let's start from blank. So I'm going to say blank. It's a fresh canvas. Now let's first add a header. 
So software works on the principles of blocks. So you can, they have pre-built blocks which you can easily click and drag it onto your canvas. Now we also need a footer. So we have a header and a footer and we need to add content in, in the middle. So I'm going to click plus and I'm going to add a list. So here there are a variety of ways in which you can add lists. Now I'm going to go with the list that I have used for product IV for books. So which is a relatively big uh, list with a big picture and it has embedded, you know, Amazon buy button. It also has a description and tags here as well. So let me go here and I will select this. And now we need to connect it to Airtable in the back end. So the front end was relatively easy for us to set up. Now we need to connect it to the database. Now let's go ahead and look at Airtable. Now what is Airtable? Airtable is a very easy to use database. It has a spreadsheet like interface and uh, it is again free to start. You can create any number of bases here. So a base is what is called a database. Now let's create a directory database. And as you can see, it looks pretty much like a spreadsheet. Now here you can create any number of tables. Now let's create a book list as a table. Now we need to model and decide on the fields that we need in order to display on the front end. So I need the name of the book. I need a description of the book. So I'm going to leave it as notes. I need an image of the book. So that's attachments. I also need to add the category of the book. So I'm going to add it as a category. And I think we pretty much have everything. So I have the category, I have a description, I have the book, the heading. Oh, I also need an Amazon buy button. So I'm going to add another field here and it says buy from Amazon. And that's it. I think our database uh, model is ready. Now let's populate it with the data. Now I have Amazon open here um, and I'm going to start adding the book one by one. So let's first add the name of the book, the description of the book. Attachments, uh, Airtable, you can search for uh, images from within a table so i have something searched already so i'm uploading that specific book cover now here what is this uh, category it is a growth related book so that is going to be the category i don't want the other ones so i'm going to remove to do done everything so just the growth and now the buy from Amazon. So if you have an affiliate link with Amazon, you, they would provide an embeddable code. So it's a HTML code that you can embed in any website. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add buy from Amazon embed link here. Now our data is also ready. Now we need to connect it to software. Now let's say set up Airtable. It's asking me for an API key. Now let's go to uh, Airtable is very good. It provides APIs for integrating with any application. Now once you go to Airtable account, here you'll have your API key, which you can copy and paste here. And when you say connect to database, it will get connected. Now in the Airtable base, you have the directory database available. Now you need to select the table. We have the book list table. The default is the grid view uh, and do we want it to be sorted by any way because we just have one book uh, probably I'm going to leave that is empty if we had 10 items we can display all 10 items be before pagination kicks in so we have this here now in the top we want it to be filtered by category right now it's just growth that's available now let's map this front end to the back end now image is attachments for us in the back end now heading Let's click the map it to name. So, and then text, let's map it to notes. And then the button, we don't want any button. Uh, we're gonna add our own custom field now. 
which is the Amazon buy button. So it's a HTML code. So we need to choose the embed type and then we need to choose the buy from Amazon button. So as you can see here, uh, it has been added relatively easy. Let's add a rich text. I'm going to say notes. So as you can see here, uh, we have we have added the book, the title of the book, the buy from Amazon button and the description of the book. And if you hit preview, you will be able to see the book as we wanted. It has just one category and you don't have. Now similarly, you can build this directory by adding your books one after the other to make it a really lengthy book list to get you know this specific directory and a table also by default makes it responsive so you it is comparable with any form factor so that's it so it's very easy for you to create a, a directory of books the way i have it so there you have it hopefully this has inspired you and uh, hope and please feel free to register for a free account at Product Ivy and uh, check out the list of no codes and other you know functionality that you have in Product Ivy. Thank you for listening and uh, see you again in another video.